It is 837. Okay, everybody, welcome back in. Presidential shade and Homeland Security on Jim Patrol. TMZ's Harvey Levin has the juicy story on all of these topics. He is live in L.A. Good morning, Harvey. Good morning, Jenny. Okay, so, so President Donald Trump has some familiar curtains in the Oval Office. I, tell me the backstory on this because he did change what the Obamas had. I think this is... I don't know why I find this so interesting, but I do. <laughs> I do so, too. Um, the, uh, so in the Oval Office, if you notice for the last eight years, behind the president, behind President Obama, yes. um, you saw red curtains. So we looked at the, uh, one of my producers looked at the shots of Donald Trump, and he saw these gold curtains, and they were kind of power curtains. And so we thought, where did those come from? So my, the, my producer did some digging, and he found out that they are the curtains that Hillary Clinton chose for Bill Clinton in 1993. And she actually made kind of a deal about it. Uh, and uh, basically, Donald Trump took him out of mothballs. He doesn't like her foreign policy, but he loves her, her, her choice in drapes. You don't think this and is a new pair, so he, a new set? No, it's, it, they, we found out <laughs> they are the curtains that Hillary Clinton uh, put up uh, behind Bill Clinton in the Oval Office. And then we started checking. We actually put a gallery together of the different choices <laughs> that presidents made. Uh -huh. And it's a big deal because when you think about it, Jenny, it is the backdrop for a lot of historic things that happen during the course of a presidency. And that backdrop is important and it symbolizes something. And you'll see each president kind of made a different choice. But Trump went back to what Hillary did. Yeah, it's, it's like they're set. Sure. So, uh, so it's uh, it's going to be photographed a lot, and now we'll always notice those drapes. Okay, so the Department of Homeland Security is shopping for gyms, which um, upon first glance doesn't sound like a bad thing at all, but this is a pretty pricey venture. Well, this is interesting because it comes on the heels of Donald Trump yesterday saying that he was imposing a hiring freeze in the right. federal government. So, uh, again, one of my producers was looking through some documents and found that Homeland Security... Um, is bidding out a contract with local gyms in the area for members of ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, uh, and that, that I, they're going to provide free gym memberships to people from ICE, um, and they're looking for a gym within a quarter mile of the headquarters so people can walk there, and willing to spend up to $200,000 a year uh, for these free gym memberships for the ICE employees. It is just kind of interesting this comes on the heels of a federal hiring freeze. Right, and free, not really free, and, and when by the way, $200,000. And, 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 well, by the way, this order was signed on January 13th, which is seven days before Trump uh, was inaugurated. And then there's this regarding the Obama family. We, we uh, had all heard about <coughs> how they went to Palm Springs, California. People thought they'd be able to see him there, but they're already gone. Yeah, I mean, look, normally I don't do this, Jenny, but I'm gonna, I will tell you this much. It's weird to us, and we're doing some checking right now. We were told initially, because we broke the story that he was going to Palm Springs uh, yeah. a couple of weeks ago. We found out that that's where he was going. But we were told he was going to be there for two weeks. He ended up just being there for two days. And then he flew off to uh, the Caribbean, and uh, we're told uh, with Richard Branson, who is you know, very close to them and also has ideas that are very close and dear to the Obamas, including you know, he, Richard Branson is very deep into climate change, which President Obama is, but they have a relationship. So then the question, why would they fly all the way to Palm Springs and then two days later fly right, all the all way to the, way the, to the uh, Caribbean? And, and at, on f at first blush, it seems to me, I don't it, it, we've had a lot of bad weather and I don't want to minimize what's going on in the rest of the country because compared to the rest of the country, it's not so bad for us, but it's been pouring here for the last two or two or three days and cold uh, relative for Southern California. And on a level, I would think the Obamas would say, forget this, we're going to sunny weather because that's presumably why they went to Palm he Springs. He probably wants to golf um, for all those golf courses there in Palm Springs. It may not be that simple, and that's something we're working <laughs> yeah. on. So check our website in about a half hour. Okay, so I, yeah, I heard you with your producer kind of working on that one leading up to our segment. So Harvey Levin, thank you so much for the very interesting backstories today. Okay, Jenny.
So a reminder, you can see TMZ weeknights 11 p.m. and then weekdays at 3 p.m. here on Fox 4. And then he mentioned they're, they're trying to figure out what's going on with the Obama family right now. You will find a link to their show website on our website, fox4news.com. Okay, checking your time right now. It is 842.